Good afternoon, Adam here at Board at Home, and in today's unboxing video, we're going to take a look at King's Life. You may have seen earlier today, we put up a post about a delivery. King's Life was one of the restocks on that delivery, proven to be a popular game so far. So we obviously wanted to get more in on the shelf, and we decided this time we'd get a copy for the Board Games Library as well. Also in a bid to increase the growing range of our games to appeal to a younger audience as well, so that we're got as much for as many people downstairs. So let's jump in and take a look. First up is the rule book. Now I've had a quick flick through. It's very well laid out and not a lot of pages to it. So you can kind of have a read and get straight into the game. Handy little rules reference there for some of the character cards, but overall very good. Next up, is the uh, character boards, the game boards. So this will be where you place the activities and these support tokens, the shields there. We also have the first player token. And here are the player standees and the player support tokens. So the standees are the larger ones, the support tokens are the smaller ones. Apart from the size, there's nothing really to differentiate between the two, so just bear that in mind when you are setting up and I have to say the stock on those, the card stock, is really good, really nice and thick. So it's going to be able to endure a lot of handling. So onto the cards. So we have our four event cards. So we have the tourney, we have the hunt, we have the feast, and we have the dance. So these four will be what the king is looking to do on any day-to-day -day basis. You only use three of them in the game, so there's a bit of variability there. So they will change from game to game, which means that it won't always be the same for you. And here we have our day cards as well. So we've got Tuesday to Saturday. Monday's his busy day doing all of his kingly duties. And I surmise that Sunday is his day off because who doesn't love a lion and breakfast in bed on a Sunday? So there are those cards there. Here we have our character cards. So these are the ones you saw briefly on the back of the rule book there that have different effects. So we just have a flick through there. So like the jester here, for example, swap any two cards in other two other players' displays. So you can kind of mess about with each other here or introduce some various rules. Cards with a value of five are ignored, so obviously the priest, not overly decadent there. So yeah, you've got uh, some uh, asymmetric player powers there, which just means that, you know, there's gonna be a slight variation from player to player in what they're doing as they each bid to win the king's approval. And finally, for the cards, we have the actual activity cards. So this will be a whole host of activities for the four different events there. As you can see, we've had jousting, we've had feasts, we've had dragon flying, we've got hunts in here, all sorts. Looks like a dangerous hunt. All sorts in here, and obviously we've got the parties as well. We've got the maypole, we've got dances, jesters, all sorts, and some extra character cards just at the end there if you want to switch the game up somewhat. And then for our standees, just a little bag of uh, support tokens there, little clip things, can't remember the name of them, but you know what I mean. So, that's everything in the box. Uh, I think it's a fantastic little game. Uh, looks like a lot of fun to play. Definitely one geared towards the younger children in the family. So this would work perfectly well in between some larger games uh, for them, just to break up the evening a little bit. We said we do have a copy in the library now, so you can come down, uh, rent a table in the boardroom and give it a go and let me know your thoughts. So that's it for this one. Uh, we've got a whole host of other games that we'll be unboxing throughout the week. And as always, it's been a pleasure and we'll see you in the boardroom.